Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to break down the explosive gunner build in Deep Rock Galactic. This is a great build if you love blowing stuff up, but don't forget to give your teammates the heads up before you fire. So what is the explosive gunner build and why do I use it? Well, for me, the other builds that I've done, they're a little bit more tactical and strategic, but sometimes you want to throw all of that out the window, grab the explosive ammo and just light it up. This build is probably the most fun out of all the ones I've done, but it's not for players who veer toward caution. The loadout is focused around being as dangerous, explosive and damaging to enemies as possible. Okay, so let's break down each element of the loadout, the gear mods, the perks, etc. Okay, your primary weapon is the Hurricane Guided Rocket System. This portable missile solo slash rocket launcher features tracking software and a laser pointer allowing for its missiles to be manually guided. In regard to overclocks, I go for an aggressive one, anything that increases damage or just makes it more potent. Okay, gear mods. Gear mod one, we use pressurized gas cylinder. This increases the damage of your missiles. Gear mod two features anti-tank missiles. These will crack the plating on larger bugs. Gear mod three are nano missiles. These increase your mag size. Gear mod 4 is zip fuel which increases the impact force of your missiles and gear mod 5 are napalm infused rounds. This reduces direct damage but it does set them on fire causing longer term damage. So in summary, more damage, better at damaging plate armor, larger magazine size, more impact and it can also set them on fire. Next is the secondary weapon, the Bulldog Heavy Revolver. Okay, the gear mods for this. Gear mod 1 is the quick fire ejector, increasing your reload speed. Second mod, increased caliber rounds, more damage. Gear mod 3, explosive rounds, makes the bullets detonate, dealing extra damage again. Gear mod 4, high velocity rounds, increases overall damage. Gear mod 5, neurotoxin coating, gives you a chance to poison your target and thus continue to damage them afterwards. Okay, what about the projectile slot? Well, here we're gonna use cluster grenades. These are basically a collection of grenades that disperse on impacts, creating multiple explosions and absolute carnage. Very effective, very fun. So those are the weapons. Now let's look at your tools. In terms of the pickaxe, first gear mod, power attack, second gear mod, I would use the serrated edge again, increasing damage. Usually use those two. Support equipment. Firstly, we have the zip line launcher, which creates a permanent zip line for you and your Dwarven brothers to traverse the environment. The first gear mod is the upgraded connection joint. This increases the operational angle of the zip line, which is very useful. Gear mod two, reinforced cable. It means the zip line can span a greater distance. Third mod, motor traction increased. This increases the acceleration and speed when you ride on the zip line. So in summary, better angles, greater distance, increased speed. Very nice. Next, we've got the shield generator. This is a defensive tool that can save you and your team when all the hell breaks loose. So the first mod, improved projector. The shield protects a larger area, allowing your teammates to get inside. Gear mod two, large capacitors, making the shield last longer. And gear mod three, improved efficiency, again, making the shield last longer. Bigger shield, good duration. And finally, we've got the Barracuda Armor Rig. The first mod here is the improved generator with the shield beginning to regenerate sooner. Gear mod two, healthy. This increases your maximum health. And gear mod three, reactive armor. This increases your armor resistance to explosions, which is quite helpful because you will be blowing shit up left, right, and center. And gear mod four is shockwave. When your shield breaks, a violent shockwave will ensue, damaging all the enemies around you. Okay, let's look at the perks. So first we're gonna have passive perks. The first one, Vampire. This helps you regain health when you kill certain enemy bugs. Second perk, Thorns. Anytime an enemy hits you with a melee attack, they get damaged as well, yes. And the third perk, Strong Arm. You can now throw flares further, but more importantly, you can carry heavy objects a lot faster. Really useful. Next we have active perks. First perk, Berserker. Once activated, you can go Berserk with boosted melee damage and lightning fast power attack recharge. Second perk is Iron Will. This lets you get back in the fight after going down. It lets you move faster, hit harder, and be resistant to slowdowns for a limited time before you go down again. 
So we're pretty much done with the technical aspects of the loadout. Lastly, I'll just break down the apparel set before we finish. You know, so if you want to look like my character, it looks on the screen in terms of that build. I'll put that build detail on the screen now so you can do a screenshot. But as always, there's plenty of cosmetic items in Deep Rock. So much fun to be had. Pick something that suits your style and feels right for you. And there you go, that's the explosive gunner build, a fun build for blowing up everything in sight, including your teammates most of the time. So expect some abuse. But you know, I hope the video was useful. If you've got questions, put them in the comments. If you'd like to watch my review for Deep Rock or my other guides, I'll put a link in the description. But for now, thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Cheers.